Indiana Comic Con was literally the worst con of my life. Hi! Indiana Comic Con 2K17 was the shittiest, the worst, the most horrible con experience I have had and it wasn't even the con itself it was my it was my own self I made I just I just it, it was a horrible horrible day the whole just experience of Indiana Comic Con was just so bad for me and it was just such a fun con though in general that it, it was just so hard to enjoy it because I was just having such a rough experience this year and to start this like whole off like like a month before the con um, I normally go with my older sister because um, she she cosplays with me um, and so this time this year she decided she didn't want to go to Indiana Comic Con because it wasn't as fun as any pop con is or something I don't know her reasoning is really weird <laughs> I decided you know, I'm still making my costume. I was making my Victor Free Skate outfit. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm putting all this effort into this cosplay. I am going to go to this con. And because Linda and Katie, who are the voice actors of Sailor Moon, or she was one of the voice actors for Sailor Moon, and the voice actor for Sailor Mars was going to be there. And I really wanted to go and get them signed. And my hat keeps falling off. Okay, so yeah. I wanted to go because I wanted to get my little Sailor Moon Funko Pop figures signed by them. That was the whole reason, so I was like, I can just go by myself, or, you know, it's fine. Leading up to the con, I was about to buy my ticket the day before on Thursday. I was only going on Saturday. I get home. Um, and I'm checking out my phone and the site is still selling the tickets and I'm just like, okay, sweet. I'll order them tonight when I'm about to go to bed. So everything's set. No. The site crashes. I'm trying from like 8, maybe even 7 p.m. from like, till like 12, like p.m. Yeah, p.m. <laughs> 12 a.m. Um and it's not working it's it keeps crashing so i go on their their facebook and they're like oh sorry uh our site keeps crashing because so many people are trying to buy tickets and i'm just like great lovely just what i needed um so saturday comes um and saturday it's already off to a rough start because i have to buy my ticket there before that you know, I have this blue circle and this for Victor, um, and so I have a hard time putting in circle lenses in my eyes for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because my eyes are like really small and then it's, it's just hard to get things in there. Um, um, it's really hard for me to fit circle lenses in my eyes. So I got up early at 9 o'clock because I wanted to get there at 11 to get in line to get everything signed and have time to go buy things and go to all the panels that I wanted to go to. I'm putting it in and it's just not fitting to my eye correctly. Like I don't, I don't know how to explain it but it just wasn't slipping on the way it should. And I was getting frustrated and so I just kind of like threw them back in their case and I was like okay well I'll just do it when I get there you know. Uh, I'll be more awake and everything. I don't even leave the house till 11 o'clock, so I'm really off to a late start. So I don't get there until about 12, 12.30ish or something around there. It's one of the hottest days of the year so far, and I'm just not having it. It's hot, and so I park on the very back side of the convention center, and I have to walk through the whole thing to get to the ticket area and where the exhibit hall is, where the main you know, focus of the concept. So I'm heading to the bathroom, like in the exhibit hall, because that was the smartest thing in the world for me to do. Um, go to the exhibit hall bathroom to put in circle lenses. Um, so I'm trying to put like them in, and they're still not going in. And at this point, I'm just done with life because 
I'm just like, what, what am I going to do? Because now I can't be, my cosplay is not complete without these circle lenses and I can't get them in. And it was, it was crowded and I didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I just put them back in my backpack and that was it. I'm having a blast. I have my backpack on and my like shoulder, my um, camera bag with me too. Um, and so, so I'm taking like off my backpack and like all that constantly um, to take pictures with. And when I'm in the very back of the exhibit hall, one of my gold bands like on the shoulder, you know, the ones that loops around it fell off <laughs> just just broke off and I panicked a little because I'm like oh my god like everyone's gonna see this that my my thing broke and I, I don't know what to do all right so it's, it was this one right here and so the way they're hooked up is I have this clasp right here or this this gold ring underneath um this part of the shoulder pad thing then I have a smaller one connecting to the actual like clasp of the band and so the whole thing just came out from underneath this part right here the whole like band where it's, it was just kind of like glued in so yeah so it unhooked itself like it, un it came undone and at this point I'm just like oh my god like it's crowded in there i'm in the very back and i'm trying to like fight my way through but people are still stopping me to get photos and i'm just so happy i like i don't think they noticed that um this part had to come down because the way i had my arm positioned for the photos i was going kind of like this with my hand down so it kind of didn't really make it like very obvious um and so i finally make it out to the um like actual hallway and it's just so crowded out there and I'm just like oh my god so I need to go so I I couldn't find like just like an area off to the side because they have like there's like a, this big open area by like the doors and that's where like where all the photographers have their stuff like set up with like their lights and the backdrops and everything and so and then everyone else is kind of like sitting around the walls and so I went outside <laughs> And so I'm digging through my backpack because I always bring my thread and like super glue and stuff with me just in case anything happens while I'm there. And I finally found like my bag where I had all my thread in and I'm digging through it and my needle is not in there. And so I'm just like, oh my god, what am I going to do? Like, I don't have any glue on me. I don't have a needle. I only got thread. I can't fix this. <laughs> and so like I call my dad because... I don't really know where, like, I know where, like, the major things are downtown in Minneapolis, but I don't know, like, where, like, a CVS or, like, a Walgreens would be. Um, so I call my dad, I'm like, pick up, but he's not picking up, so I put it into, like, my phone, like, you know, CVS, and the nearest one is five blocks, but like I said, it was, like, one of the hottest days of the year so far, and I was just outside for maybe five minutes, and... I was already like drenched in sweat <laughs> so at that point I'm like okay I need to stop and just think rationally and I remember inside like the mall that there is this convenience store um, that they have in there and so I'm like great well maybe they have like something I can use to fix this and so so I'm walking back inside like the like I walk around the convention center like where like the last people will be to get up to the stairs for the skywalk to get to the mall of that. And so I make it there just fine. But the convenience store wasn't where I thought it was because I thought it was on the third floor but it wasn't there so I started panicking again. And then I eventually found it because it was on the second floor already like the other end I was at. And so and then I'm like noticing like this whole place in there is basically just like chips and like drinks or like food like like a regular gas station not like and then I notice this like little area that's just not food and I'm like oh please please let there be something to fix my outfit thing I ever saw in my life happened I, I found this it's right here 
right here was my life saver. This little sewing kit, okay? I hadn't even gotten far enough to head to think that I needed scissors to cut the thread. <laughs> but at this point, I hadn't even been there for like a full hour. Actually, I think I may have been there for like a half hour to 45 minutes because when I finally made it back over to the convention center, it was like 1.30 and so at that point, the cosplay contest started at 2.30, but you know, you have to kind of line up early to get like the better seats. So I kind of wandered around until about 2 o'clock and then I left to go there. About halfway through the cosplay contest, I realized I was getting lightheaded because I hadn't eaten anything all day. And so I was like, okay, well I need to go get like some food or something. So after the cosplay contest, I went back to the exhibit hall because so I was like, okay, let me just go see how long the line is for the Sailor Moon character so I can go get these signed and then I'll go get something to eat. Um, the line was, they weren't even there at that point. They were like on their lunch break or something. So I was like, okay, let me just go get my food. So I went to go get food, came back at 4 o'clock and that was when their panel was. <laughs> uh, but you had to line up in a different room. So I didn't even go to their panel because I got <laughs> distracted by other Yuri on Ice cosplayers. I, I am devastated because I don't have time anymore to get my things signed because I was I had this all planned out, you know, they had their panel until 4.50 I think and then the next panel I was going to go to was at 5 o'clock and it ended at 6 o'clock and the exhibit hall closed at 6 o'clock. So I never got my things signed. The whole reason I went to any Comic Con to meet these you lovely voice actors and I didn't even meet them. I didn't even get anything signed and it was just a struggle. This this whole experience was a struggle. There's there was like twice as many people there were than last year and it was crowded and hot and you know, I was just very sad. I was a very sad person. And that folks is why Indie Comic Con 2K17 was my worst con experience. So if you have had any horrible bad cons in your life, tell me down below because I love hearing about them. It makes me feel like I'm not the only one that had so many troubles. So thank you. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. And I'll see you next time.